you know, people, you know, of course, the natural tendency of, uh, you know, the, d- the dissolution of the work leisure yeah. barrier. I mean, nobody even says leisure anymore. That's a word that if you talk to young kids, they don't even know what that word means, literally. Leisure. Oh, you mean like playing around or going to the movies? or? But the idea that there's like, you know, these specific hours you do work and nothing else, and these hours you don't do any work at all. I mean, that's, that's so old now, it's almost laughable, right? I mean, it mm-hmm. goes without saying, but on one hand, though, management continues on with its thinking about their level of controls as if they can actually, on one hand, take advantage of the fact that they'll, you know, call you at nine o'clock at night or you'll get a business call at nine at night and you will respond. It's assumed, you know, on the other hand, they think they can somehow magically, you know, divide your life into the work and the non-work part when it's, it's theoretically to their advantage or, you know, satisfies their their sense of uh, control or, you know, grandeur or something, but, but it's impossible. I mean, it has no meaning. So, uh, but you know, all of these things are, 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 are like the, the glacial change of people's thinking about, you know, the nature of who we are when we work inside of a business and we get a paycheck to do something. Um, and, and, and we're still bound to these preposterous notions like you get paid for the number of hours in a day that you nominally are working. And we all know that's a, that's a fantasy. I mean, it might have been meaningful if we were working in a factory and it was how many hours you were there, you know, tying things together and walking away. But increasingly, next to nobody has that kind of work. I mean, the manufacturing sector in the United States is, I don't know, for yeah. better or worse, it's down to something relatively small now, like t- less than 20% of the population so. Um, working population, and so for the great majority of people that are doing, you know, white collar, you know, creative, whatever you want to call it, professional work, it has increasingly less meaning. Um, even in the situation where you're theoretically billing for your time, so, um, but the the fantasy lives on, you know. So the uh, the old school thinking about, you know, what you owe to the business and what the business owes to you is has raced ahead, in fact, but uh, management's, um, and actually a lot of people, you know, working people, their concepts, if you actually ask them to talk about it consciously, they have very old school notions that are, you know, five or ten years out of date already, but they they haven't actually reconceptualized what the nature of the new social, uh, you know, work contract is between the business and the worker. And, you know, and and because the work, the company hasn't done it, you know, it's, it's dictates, it's,